Hello, what's up everyone? I hope you're doing great. My name is Lady Calamere. Welcome to my channel. I will be doing my 143rd presentation. It will be on Bay Rum. So, Bay Rum, what is it? First of all, it's not made with Bay Laurel or with the Turkish Bay Leaf. It, it's made from one type of bay leaf and that is called the bay rum pimenta resmona pimenta resmona <clears throat> and this bay leaf is much more flagrant flavorful and fragrant now this the aromas and the taste that you get from it is from the bay leaf itself from Pimenta Resmona is eucalyptus, cinnamon, clove, eucalyptus, cinnamon, clove, and like a, it does have a bay laurel, like a bay smell to it, but it's it's got it's like has a spicy aroma now every part of the bay bay rum leaf tree should not be used except for the leaves the other parts of it would not be good to eat bay rum despite its name should not be ingested bay rum alcohol water whatever you want to call it should not be ingested and do not spray this around your candles. Any lit fire. Because it is flammable. Okay, do not drink this. Do not spray it around. Okay, the bay, bay rum alcohol was not meant to be drunk. Okay. So bay rum was originally used as an as a scent for the body and then used as an aftershave um why i'm bringing this up because it may not seem like it's about magic this is about magic it's used in the puerto rico island for the spiritual traditions of the puerto rican santeria as well as for espiritismo and it's also in jamaica used in obea the, it's a Caribbean African religion. So it's starting to make its way more in hoodoo. You can make your own. There's different things that people put in. Now in Puerto Rico, it was said that no Puerto Rico home, Puerto Rican home was complete unless it had alcohol, alcohol but you're talking about this bay room. So before I start boring people, I want to get into the magic of it. Now bay rum is used sometimes in place of Florida water. We, we love our Florida water, right? But bay rum has less of a bite to it. It has a different smell and less of a bite than what Florida water use and a lot of men like to use this in place of Florida water so this can be used bay leaf bay rum oh my god you are got you guys are trying to distract me aren't you so bay rum we use for getting rid of negativity you can put this on your besom, on the on the bristles, and then sweep the area. Even on a little handheld besom and sweep the area. This is used to get rid of stale and negative energies. Energies that you feel is threatening you, or if someone negative was in your home. And you just want to get rid of that yucky 
icky energy bay rum is great it's a great one to give this is actually used as offering to spirits you can use this to cleanse your magical tools your altar your working space before and after spiritual magical workings or before a reading or to like just freshen up after you work with a few clients with readings just really freshen up especially if you maybe you had to do a crossing on someone and this could be used to remove any energies that may still be around you i just spilled myself some stuff on myself and you see i how i did this i put like just a little hole because and i could sprinkle it around much easier than just removing this so i could sprinkle it so that's an idea you may want to do and if you want to buy one of these commercially made ones you feel free to put your own ingredients make sure it's the bay rum leaves if you're putting leaves in but you can put people put vetiver in there and nutmeg cloves so what else is it used for okay so bay rum could be used to remove bad luck and good for gambling spells good for good luck good for money you know if you have a money hand or a mojo bag you can bless it with that bless really bless your uh, stuff with this do not put this on animals do not bless your cats or dogs um do don't like spr spray this liberally all over your dog bed or cat bed because the smell itself is kind of bit strong and it can really affect your uh cats and dogs bronchioles you don't want them to inhale it and end up causing your cat or dog to have respiratory issues so it's not good to use on animals don't let your children drink it don't ingest this this is not this could be used on the skin but not to be ingested okay and i hate when people say well if it's safe enough for my skin because the body's gonna absorb it i guess i could drink it no would you drink shampoo when you put that on on your head your scalp right i mean i won't drink i'm not gonna eat a bar of soap so that logic makes no sense to me neither do you loki you make no sense to me get down come on so anyways i don't have a script or notes so just bear with me oh i got hair in my eye so this is good for uh aubrey caminos for when you want to do some road opening spells and if for any cleansing, any purification, any road opening to remove any blocks, you can use bay rum. Now, bay rum is definitely a masculine scent to it. And it's great for... Uh, to use as an app for men to use as an aftershave or as a cologne really boy okay okay baby boy you're so cute so babe rum is like I said, can be used in some ways and as a substitute 
for Florida water. Especially, you, you can get this, you can find these easily in Afro-Caribbean stores, but there are places that are totally Christian and want nothing to do with Florida water, but you could probably pick up some Bay Rum Cologne somewhere. So you can use that, or you can make your own. If you make your own, let it steep for about six weeks. It will take about six weeks, and you, and you of course, you want to use rum. Clear rum or dark rum, your choice. And some people mix the rum with, with vodka and then uh, use it. But did you have some drinks tonight, Loki? Maybe a little too much catnip? I don't know. Every time I try to do a presentation, I got the uh, comedy relief going here. So, Bay Rum, can be used to uplift moods, especially during times of stress. It's really got that spicy upliftingness to it. Like I said, it's got notes of eucalyptus. It's got notes of clove, of cinnamon going, you know, you can tell it's like some allspice. But do not con con um, confuse the leaves of, bay of the bay rum leaf with allspice berries. It's not the same. Again, some people make that mistake. So... And yes, you can use Bay Rum for money. Oh God, I got something in my eye. So what else can I tell you about this? Bay Rum is used for healing too, for healing rituals. You can massage it into the skin a little bit into the skin or if uh for just spiritual healing to heal on the aura to heal someone physically you can use this in your spell work one of the things that i've learned is to make a portal an opening an entrance with water and Okay, so you get like a water dish, and I can't show you because I'm going to have cats coming and drinking, coming after it. I don't know, when I do magic, sometimes they leave me alone, but every time I have the camera out, it's like the soul go, you know, fuck with mommy time. But what you do is, you say you get your bowl of water, you can make it as fancy or simple glass bowl. I prefer glass or ceramic. And you pour water, right? Just your regular water. Now you can pour some bay rum. We're talking about bay rum. And in whatever, you know, element you're looking for. Or whatever planetary thing. You put crystals in. You put stones, some symbols. You know, you, you want to make it special. And what you want to do is now that you have that water and you're in your sacred space, you're in your protective space, right? Oops, sorry. You want to make like energy ball. Like you just put a little saliva in your hands because that actually gets the friction going. And you think about, about what you want and then you make it into a ball and then you can visualize everything that you want into this ball that you want to open it and you can visualize a key and then when it's full of energy you throw it and then you throw another energy ball another energy ball to you are satisfied you could do this with a whole group of people have everyone throw an energy ball and you do the sign of the enterer look that up on 
the internet. It's sort of like sticking your left foot out and your hands together. And you open it like you're opening curtains. Now you have it open. But, and you bring the energy out. You just call that energy into your circle. And you got that gate going. But then you must, what you open, you must close. Don't forget to put whatever energy that needs to go back, okay, into it. You want to close the gates, just push it all in. You know, whatever God or goddess name you want to use. And of course, you do the closing of the gates, which is like this. You have your left foot out and you have your hands like this. And you bring your left foot back and you bring your palms back. And of course, you do your banishing. So that's an idea to use with bay rum. Now, bay rum, even though it's a water, it's a cologne. Well, it's cologne. The smell of it is actually fire. It's fire. Now, bay rum, if you, if you ever get one of those leaves... It's going to smell, it's going to totally blow you away towards a regular bay laurel. And yes, bay rum leaves are used for cooking. You can get fresh ones, you get dried ones, but when you crumble it, you can really smell it. And especially the oil. And that was used, and I, I kid you not, it was used by sailors and pirates. And they would rub these leaves on them to get the oil from them. You got to understand five, six months in the ship with no bath. Yes. Yeah, st stinky, right? Real nasty. So they would rub this on themselves, but then they realized that they could put the leaves into rum and let it soak. And then of course, splash themselves with it, which was, a lot easier to do than just rubbing the leaves all over so that they don't actually smell like shit. And of course, so, and in magic, you know, with different scents, we realize that these different scents could be used for calling spirits, controlling different things, bringing things into our life. So, Bay Rum was incorporated into magic. But it's not the biggest thing in hoodoo, I guarantee it. But it is making its way to hoodoo practitioners. But it's more traditional with Puerto Rican spirituality and Jamaican spirituality. But that doesn't mean you can't use it. I mean, people in Wicca are starting to use it in witchcraft. So, yes, you can use it. You can use this to cleanse off um, energy, whether you nasty or not. You just want a clean slate. You can use bay rum. You can use this for protection spells. This can add a nice little protection. It will enhance divination skills. So before divination, this is a good one to use to help you focus, whether you're scrying with a crystal ball, you're reading tea leaves, Maybe you're casting the runes or using some tarot cards. You can use this. You can wipe down your candles before use, but make sure your candle is dry. I even use regular alcohol for my candles, but I make sure it's dry because I know I can have a fire. I can't stress that enough. Don't get this in your eyes. Don't drink this. Do not. Do not. 
pulled this on your on your cats or dogs. I'll be very mad at you. So, yeah, so this works with the element of fire. It's also good for masculine energies, to increase your masculine, and especially for men to increase the masculine energies. Or if women want to work with the masculine energies, you want to bring that in. This is great to represent, uh, especially like the Lord, the God, the male divinity. Great one to use for. And it's got a very virile scent to it. So, here's my pirate skull, Cthulhu. It's got a very a virile scent, very sexual scent. It's good for men to get their libido on. It's, it's sort of like that, that pond, virile, or chongo, definitely chongo macho scent, that machismo smell. So, like, sailors in the 16th century discovered that bay leaf could be used on them to get rid of the stink. And I said that already. So, interesting enough is that rum... actually comes from molasses and that was actually allowed to ferment and a few slaves discovered that molasses a byproduct of sugar can be used to make rum and of course the brewers on on the island of jamaica actually made rum from it and made it distilled and made it about 10 times stronger just you know, little nerd facts going there. So, I know that traditionally made, I, I don't know how this, well, it tells you it's 50% alcohol, water, bay oil, but I know that some people would make their own rum, bay rum, and they would use it for uh, healing of wounds and stuff. So I'm not going to tell you to go out and buy this and pour it on your wound, okay? You can use alcohol for that, but, you know, saline solution to clean it out. But anyways, interesting to note. Great to clean out your crystal ball after doing some divinations and scrying. Sometimes you want to cleanse it. And sometimes things do come through and things are attracted. You know, you can clean your... You can... I, as far as... Someone will probably ask me, can I pour this on my Ouija board? Well, your Ouija board is cardboard, so I'd be very careful with that. You know, don't <sighs> pour it all over and ruin it. Why, baby? Baby boy, you're being so cute. He's right behind me. And I put my new sign up. Home is where the bodies are buried. A witch and her little monsters live here. So, great to use to de-stress, detox on your energy, yourself. Especially when you kind of feel depressed. This can also be uplifting. Just even, you just take a good whiff of it. 
yeah, it's uplifting. But it also has got that power. It's got a very power scent. It's It's got this, this can be used for power, to increase power, um, to increase your divination skills. So there are spells for that. So anyways, I would like to know your com you, what your thoughts and opinions on Bay Rum. Have you ever used it? Hit me up on the comments. I really appreciate the comments and thank you for all your subscriptions. Your subscriptions help my channel grow. I do not have a Patreon account. I am not looking for money and give to give you extra content. That's not what I do. My content is here. Your price is to listen to it and <laughs> spend about up to an hour of listening to my voice. But that's it. It's got, it's great for those who like to work with Bay, and, and it is another option other than Florida water. And I do like my Florida water. It's great to help, you know, if you move to another space, you can clean the space out with it, you know, or if someone moved out, you can clean the room with it. You know, good to help protecting any negative energies or... So anyways, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, please subscribe. Share my video with your friends and family and on your Facebook groups and if you were if I did have a Patreon account with the money you were going to give to me give to yourself put it in your own bank account and also thinking about donating to St. Jude's Hospital that helps children who are fighting cancer and St. Jude actually looks to find ways to treat cancer and shares their findings and their research with other places. So it's a good and worthy charity. So take care of yourself and as always, Blessed be.